losing a pet help kids grieving the death of their dogs. Ask them how they feel. The child may not immediately express their emotions. Gently ask them how they are feeling. Encourage them to put their exact feelings into words, so that they can learn how to process their emotions. You can say, I know that this must be hard for you. How are you feeling? Can you tell me? Your child may state that they are sad or upset. You can respond by saying, I'm sad too. It is normal for children to blame themselves for the dog's death, even if they had nothing to do with it. They might also express resentment against you or the vet for not saving your dog. You might tell your child, you had nothing to do with Skipper's death. His body just stopped working. There is nothing that any of us could have done. Use art therapy to help your child express themselves. It can be hard for children to know how to put feelings into words, particularly intense and possibly new emotions like grief. Give them a piece of paper and encourage them to draw whatever they feel like. Don't force them to talk about their drawings with you, simply let them express themselves and talk to you when they want to. With younger children, set out a coloring book and some crayons. Color together for a little while and talk about your drawings together. Express your own grief. You should not feel as though you have to hold in all of your own grief. Showing your own reaction to death can demonstrate to your child that mourning is natural. It can also teach them how to grieve in a healthy manner. You can tell your child what emotions you feel. You could say, I feel sad too. I'm going to miss Gigi so much. It makes me hurt inside too. Don't be afraid to cry in front of your child. This can show them that crying is a normal reaction and that they should not be ashamed of crying after a loved one has died. If your grief is making it difficult for you to complete daily tasks or if you cannot stop crying, you should find a confidant or consult a doctor. Share stories about your childhood pets. A good way to comfort your child is to tell them stories about your childhood pets. You might even include how you felt when they passed away. This will distract your child from their grief while teaching them that death is a normal part of life. Another option is to ask your child what their favorite story about their dog is. You can share yours as well. Play with your child. Children often work through their grief by playing. You can play with them to make sure that they are handling the loss of their dog well. As you play, you may notice that young children will incorporate death into their play. This is natural and it is part of the grieving process for them. You might try to guide these plays towards a productive and healthy understanding of death. For example, if they are giving a doll a funeral, you might make sure that they understand what a funeral is. Allow your child grieve in their own way. Some children may ask you a barrage of questions while others will sit in silence. Some will cry while others will want to play. These are all ways that children cope with death. Give your child room to grieve their own way. You should comfort them when they come to you in grief, but you should not force them to talk if they don't want to. They may be dealing with the death in their own way. If your child wants space while they grieve, you should give it to them. They may not want to join in activities such as a funeral, memorial, or family discussions. Do not force them to participate unless they want to.